We are here at Heritage Regional High School with our guest, Jonathan Ng. Hello, Jonathan. How does it feel to be here today as an accomplished animation filmmaker? Uh, it feels great. It feels uh, amazing to be able to present my film and a lot of Canadian films to the young people. And in the audience, they were just so excited. So great questions um, in the Q&A. And I'm just happy to be here. So thank you. It's an honor to have you. Um, is it hard as a director to start movies in Canada? Yes. I mean, it's very competitive. Um, there are a lot, however, there are a lot of grants and support systems and, you know, things like Canadian Film Day, uh, Real Canada, there's, there's National Film Board, there's Telefilm, there's all sorts of options to, um, you know, find ways to make your films. But I think that the most important way is just to make it yourself, you know, however you can make your films with whatever technique you do and, and just raising your own money to, to borrow a camera to go out or just to, you know, sketch on drawings the way I do, make, make it yourself and then show those films and then build up your reputation that way, just slowly, you know. We saw your uh, short film Requiem for Romance and you were talking about personal films. Was that one that was very personal to you? That was definitely uh, a personal film in, in a lot of ways. Um, Story-wise, uh, you know, the inspiration, the, the touch of my cultural heritage mixed in there, the technique was all handmade by me and, you know, close members of my team. So it, all around a very personal film. And, you know, for, for those viewers who don't know anything about it, it's, it's a martial arts, water ink, phone call, breakup story. <laughs> so, you know, the phone call breakup is from real life and also the martial arts fighting over the rooftops is also, that's what I do <laughs> at night, you know. <laughs> it was very metaphorical, very uh, symbolic for the people to have different points of views to get from watching it. It was, it was, I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. <laughs> um, you brought along with you your sketchbook with uh, samples of your drawings mm -hmm. and the art style that you use during Requiem uh, for uh, Romance. Would you mind showing us a um, bit of it? Yeah, like hopefully, you know, this is, this is just a penguin I sketched at the Biodome yeah. uh, the other day. There's, you know, Sometimes I'm sketching logos or ideas. I went to the cat cafe the other day and was sketching cats. And uh, I sketched this little fluffy guy. He was um, just peeking out the window. And I uh, used some gray marker, some Sharpie, and some ink liners. I was just testing out how they, those things were going to work together in the drawing. Um, here's another little sketch. Here's a little fatter cat. And it was, hmm. let's see, there's this little curious, yeah. you know, because some of these cats, they don't, st they don't stand still, so you got to capture them in a couple of seconds, you know, and there was, uh, there uh, was one that you had shown us before, the one, uh, the anarchy symbol that you used with weapons. This one, I, it's just me sketching um, sort of strange contradictions like there's an anarchy and then there's a peace sign and it's made out of guns but and there's the world sort of in the background it's just sort of me trying to play with the contradictions of those ideas but i felt it was too much of a war vibe so then i sketched this one which is intended to be a peace sign constructed it's sort of all the discarded weapons that were thrown on the ground and so throw your weapons down and it's, you can see it's still incomplete. So basically you bring your sketchbook along with you all along as something that inspires you basically. Yeah, it's, it's almost like, you know, you don't, in this day and age, you don't leave your house without a cell phone. Well, I have my cell phone, but I also have my little sketch pad. For you more know, personal for, things. For ideas and yeah, just that tactileness of 
drawing something. You know, there's always going to bring a smile to people's faces when you're, you're sketching something and it's, it's like, oh, yeah. what's that? You know? What is something else that's part of your everyday life, something else that, other than art that describes you as a, as a human being, as a person? Um, well, I still would consider it part of the art realm. I, I love to dance. I love to, yeah, um, that's, you know, put on some music. Like, I wouldn't say I'm a musical creator because I don't play an instrument, but my approach is I can receive the music through, you know, the movements in my body, and that's another form of expression, and it actually helps to, because drawing can be a very sit-down type of activity, unless you're drawing standing up on an easel, but when you get up and you're expressing through movement, that's a whole other... Uh, form of expression, but it also ties back into my animation because I have to know how movement, I have to be able to express any kind of movement. So dance is a really great part of me. It's very interesting. Uh, from then, back then when you started out until uh, now, you know, what do you think you accomplished the most? You know, winning the ATRA, winning the uh, Brazilian art award in 2014? Yes, um, that was a really big prize. It was um, best art direction at uh, one of the largest animation festivals in the world uh, in Brazil. It's called Anima Mundi. Um, and I had been trying to get a selection at that festival for many years for all these different films. And finally this one not only got selected but it ended up winning a prize. Uh, and uh, I was very proud of that because it's from my fellow animators. That's really cool. Uh, now, before we go, I'd like to know if you have any tips for any students that want to start out, you know, in the same process as you did. Yeah, so my process is really through hand-drawn drawings. So animation or even film has so many different techniques and ways of you know, styles and in animation there's different techniques there's drawings there's 3d animation there's stop motion and I guess I would just you know counsel people to try a little bit of everything you know when I was in high school I was in a gifted uh, special arts high school and we got to take classes in photography sculpture drawing a little video you know, and you just get to touch and feel every, every different aspect, painting, and you can get good at all of them, but, or you might not get good at them, but there'll be one that just captures you and just pursue that. Just never lose that feeling of excitement, you know, and for me it's always been drawing. And then through drawing it led me into animation, and then through animation it led me into storytelling and filmmaking. And, you know, so it's, it's sort of a, this winding path that you just follow. Um, so for some people, they might want to grab a video camera or, you know, shoot something on a cell phone. Just, yeah. just do it. I have one last question for you. How does it feel that your animation, your work is being presented to more than 100 students just a few hours ago? And seeing their reactions that while they were watching it with the wows and the oh my god, that's so beautiful and everything, all the questions you receive, how does that feel as, an, as the producer of all that? It feels great. It feels relieving that they liked it. <laughs> you know? Worst thing you would want, you know, you wouldn't want to do is walk up there and everybody's like, it's crickets, you know. Okay. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Thank you so much for everything that you've taught everyone here today you were a very inspirational person you I love your work so thank you so much oh, for having thanks. us here so this was Jonathan Ng with Heritage Regional High School for Real Canada <laughs>